PhD after a B Pharma. Does it make sense in 2025? Let's investigate. Now you did a B Pharma degree in so much depth and details and the only thing lacking was uh, some kind of industry experience and that's why probably you are struggling for a job and then somebody out of the blue says, you know what, you do a PhD, you'll get better jobs. That's not true, okay? PhD leads you to super specialization and super specialization means you can get only niche jobs that there are not many companies in that niche job. So be mindful of about that. Now, however, I don't mean to say that you should not do PhD. If curiosity is what something which sparks you, if you really want to do a super specialization, if you want to put a doctor against your name, that's up to you. But it's not true that after a B farm, you can't get a job. There has to be a clear cut pathway. Now, let me outline that for you. The first thing you have to remember is after your B farm, you get a lot of new age jobs. The old style jobs like R&D and F&D and uh, bioprocess, all those jobs are crowded. So you may not get there. But the new age jobs such as regulatory affairs, such as uh, medical coding, such as um, QAQC, such as clinical research, clinical data management, artificial intelligence, machine learning, chem informatics, pharmacoinformatics, all this you can learn, right? And you have to do just two to three months of training and then industry will take you, industry will hire you. So the time has come that you go deep into these new age jobs. Now, coming to the PhD side, you should do PhD after writing CSINET and CSINET entrance exam is very tough and vast. You can always take help of Amanika to you know, qualify there. But having said that, one important thing you have to remember, PhD is a different ball game. Many of your classmates will be in job and they will be getting salary and you have to sacrifice all of that because you are you know, delaying your gratification. So if you want to go into that, you can get high performance, you know, R&D roles and you can even go to up to the level of chief scientific officers. But if your you know, um, goal is not to get to that high, I think directly after B Pharma you can get a job and Pharmanica will help you. However, PhD definitely helps you get government jobs. So if your target is either government job or high level scientist roles, then you should go for a PhD. But many people don't even know that after your B Pharma itself, you can write PhD, you don't have to do M Pharma. Many people think that after B Pharma, you should do M Pharma, then only you can do PhD, that's not true. After bachelor's in pharmacy, you can directly do PhD also. So let me know in the comment section, which one you want to choose and what is the reason. And if you want a detailed video on this, I will make it on Pharmanika's YouTube channel and keep visiting pharmanika.com because all the new era jobs, new age jobs are coming there. Even PhD support is there on Pharmanika. All the best.